All right, wall fans, common sensors, and of course, brewery fans. That's right. Welcome to another exciting edition of Go Tell to the Brewery with me, your favorite beer reviewer, the one and only Sean O'Rourke. And I've got a special October Halloween fall edition for you with this particular review, and that would be another Oktoberfest. That's right, Oktoberfest. And this particular Oktoberfest actually comes from Carl Strauss Brewing out of San Diego. Uh, Carl Strauss Brewing Company, to be specific. I've talked about them before on a couple beer reviews. We've also had them on episodes of Go Tell to the Wall. Interestingly enough, a lot of people don't realize that Carl Strauss is still fully, fully craft brew. They've just been around for a long time and have a somewhat big distribution. And especially if you've been to Disneyland, you're like, but they have Carl Strauss at Disneyland. Yes, but they are still technically independent, independently owned, and they are still putting out some great, great brews. This one in particular is their 2019 Oktoberfest. And uh, not only is it a traditional Oktoberfest, you're gonna get that real malty Oktoberfest flavor from it, like a typical uh, Fest German beer, uh, but it's actually brewed with hops from Germany, directly from Germany. They imported some hops to brew this particular Oktoberfest for 2019, uh, Carl Strauss did. Super tasty, sitting around at about 5% alcohol content, which is pretty typical for an Oktoberfest. They're not going to be real heavy. Uh, they're a little heavier than your, 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 your lower end lagers, I guess you could say, but they're never going to be real heavy. So 5% is right around where, where you're going to find most of the Oktoberfest. And it, like I said, it has that nice, nice malty taste to it. Perfect for fall, perfect for Halloween, perfect for October. Just, just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. And even if you somehow get your hands on some after October, still going to taste good. That's what's cool about Oktoberfest. You don't have to drink it in October. I would recommend drinking it in October because you want to drink your beer fresh. Uh, but if you get a little bit into November, that's okay. That's okay. You know, enjoy an Oktoberfest. There's no law that says you can't have it in November. Now that we've gotten completely tangented on that, um, Carl Strauss, like I said, out of San Diego, check them out if you ever have the opportunity. Uh, you can definitely get these all throughout California, but I'm pretty sure you can find Carl Strauss somewhat nationwide, maybe not everywhere, uh, but you should be able to at least find some of their brews. So if you're outside of California, take a look, check out Carl Strauss. Uh, might be a little more difficult to find their Oktoberfest at this point because we are getting to the end of October. Uh, but I'll tell you, I was able to find this easily in Southern California uh, toward the end of October, which is a stark contrast from a lot of the other Oktoberfests that you see uh, coming around where you kind of have to buy them in September, especially by the end of September, to actually get them because they tend to sell out. However, this one was uh, was flying around here toward the end of October 2019. So check them out, Carl Strauss Brewing Company. If you can't get your hands on some Oktoberfest, check out some of their other ones. Uh, we have other beer reviews that are up on the site. We also have some others that are going to be coming down the pipe here very soon. I'm literally like looking at Carl Strauss beers I have here in the stash uh, that are also going to be coming down soon. So check them out. Cannot recommend Carl Strauss enough. I know I'm biased because I am from San Diego, but please, please check out some Carl Strauss. Not that they need your business, they're doing pretty well, but they are making some some very, very tasty, tasty brews. Mm. So check them out whenever you get the chance, especially the Oktoberfest, uh, if you're into Oktoberfest beers, because that, that is definitely a certain style. I can't drink them all the time. I enjoy them in the fall. I'll have a few, buy a few of them here, have them on the podcast, have them on the, the uh, in the beer reviews, go tell it to the brewery. Uh, they're not a go-to beer of mine, but it is nice for the fall weather. Not that we get a lot of fall weather here in Los Angeles, but it's nice for the fall weather and kind of the atmosphere and Halloween coming up and everything else. So check them out if you get the chance. Uh, and, and if you can't get the Oktoberfest, like I said, lots of other tasty beers out there from Carl Strauss Brewing Company. And remember, wall fans, common sensors, beer fans, no matter what you're drinking, no matter who you're drinking with, no matter where you're drinking, and especially no matter why you are drinking, always, always drink with common sense.